Well, in the highly unlikely event that Cook Plant would go into an emergency, we have four emergency response teams and they're on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We have plans and procedures in place to manage any emergency that we would have. And the end goal is to protect the reactor and protect the spent fuel pits so that we don't ever have any accident that would release any harmful radiation or have adverse impacts on the general public and the surrounding areas. We've invested quite a bit in equipment, uh, plant modifications, and also another piece that goes along with that would be the training of our personnel. So here at the Cook Plant, we have our own on-site fire brigade. They provide fire safety, uh, they provide EMS safety, and they provide technical rescue. We have a technical support center, which is right here at the Cook Plant on site. We have an OSC, an operation support center, fixing pumps or realigning electrical equipment, things of that nature. And we have an emergency operations facility Right now, we've, uh, we've actually built a complete bunker here on the site at the Cook Plant, and we filled it with commercial grade pumps, generators, hoses, cables. So we have enough equipment on site here to where we can be self-sufficient for at least 24 hours. And then at the 24 hour point, we anticipate, or we know that we will get equipment from the Memphis NSRC or the Phoenix NSRC that will make it so that we can cope pretty much indefinitely. I feel very safe. My family lives just a few miles from here. If they had an incident or an emergency that was beyond what their facility was ever designed to withstand, I'd feel very confident that we could manage it. Our emergency response organization will be communicating to the state, they'll be communicating with the NRC, and everybody will work together as a unified team to mitigate the incident and ultimately protect the safety and health of the public.